I've been testing out the Prim Ergonomics inline hooks. Spoiler alert, I really, really like them. And I've been on the hunt for comfort grip inline hooks ever since I fell in love with the Susan Bates Silva Looms, but not so in love with the hand cramps. That being said, am I going to marry these hooks and run off into the sunset and live happily ever after? Not necessarily. So sit back, relax, watch some soothing crochet b-roll, and listen while I go over the pros and cons and my experience with these unique hooks. Let's first talk about where these hooks really shine. The ergonomics are great, meaning how it feels in my hand and how much I can crochet with these without hand strain, and how comfortable it is to hold them basically at any point on the handle. If you've noticed, everyone crochets a little differently. We got overhanders, underhanders, some people choke up on the hook, and others are more laid back. And I was hard pressed to find a method of holding these hooks that wasn't super comfortable. They're so lightweight and slim and thick in all the right places, you really can't go wrong. The wide body is reminiscent of Furl's crochet hooks, but Prim manages to pull it off just a bit better. The rubberized handle is really nice to touch, and the body is slightly flatter on top and wider on the sides rather than being perfectly round. You can't really see it, but in your hand you can feel it, and it gives this flat feel like there's really a spot to rest your grip rather than holding on to some round bulbous thing. We can also add a wide range of sizes to the pros, and before we get into the cons, I'm going to add like a meh category. And that brings us to the inline hook itself. Is it an inline hook? Yes. Do many people find inlines to be snaggy and splitty? Yes. But I have personally never had a problem with my Susan Bates Silva Looms, and I find that the speed of a good inline hook can't be beat by those tapered styled hooks, at least for me. So I was a little disappointed to find that what I gained in ergonomics, I kind of lost on smoothness of the motion of crocheting because of the extra friction I'm facing with yarn. So the hook shape itself gets a rating of meh. It does the job, but not the best, at least for me. That brings me to the cons. Now I'm going to get a little nitpicky about aesthetics here because it was one of the big pros of the Furls crochet hooks. They are just beautiful. And the colors of the smaller prims are a little too Toys R Us, if you know what I mean. So I'm not a fan there. The larger hooks come in a more grown-up friendly gray, but by the time you get up to these sizes, the handles aren't really much different than any other larger hook. So I don't see the need to switch from my favorite chunky hooks with nearly the same handle diameter. And the last of my gripes is with the way they labeled the sizes. They chose to omit millimeters, which is a bummer because I usually choose hooks based on millimeter size. And I have to look up to remind myself what an H or a J is in millimeters. Even worse is the rare 4.5 millimeter size, which is usually labeled a USG plus. They just wrote seven. So I'm like, what? <laughs> and the H and G plus are nearly the same color. So yes, I've already gotten too far through a project before realizing I was using the wrong hook size. So in conclusion, these are the most ergonomic hooks I've used so far. And I'm going to have a hard time reaching for my furls instead of these babies. However, I still prefer furls for the larger sizes because I think they did a better job scaling up their handles and they're just so, so, so much prettier. In researching this video, I discovered that Susan Bates has come out with a Comfort Grip Silva Loom. Could this be the one? The answer to my prayers? I've placed my order for these, so subscribe to get updated on the next crochet hook review video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think. And if you are a diehard fan of a specific hook, I want to know about it because I am on a quest, honey. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!